So students, in this video, we will be solving two questions, 1.16 and 1.17. The 1.16 question is a one marker one. What do you mean by significant figure? So you can write down there, significant figures are meaningful digits. meaningful digits which are known which are known with certainty so it's a simple one mark question where you have to define what is a significant figure now moving on to the next question which is 1.17 a sample of drinking water was found to be severely contaminated with chloroform supposed to be carcinogenic in nature so just an information given to us now the level of contamination was 15 ppm by mass first question express this in percent by mass and the second question is to determine the molality of chloroform in water sample so we have two questions here. One is the given PPM should be uh, expressed in terms of percentage by mass. And the second question is you need to use, you need to determine molality of chloroform in the water sample. So we're going to solve this uh, question. So first thing is you need to write down what is the formula for percent by mass. So percent by mass equals mass of CHCl3 divided by total mass of solution total mass of solution into 100 because it is percentage. So now when we substitute the value mass of CHCl3 is 15 divided by 10 to the power 6 into 100. When we solve this, percentage is going to be 1.5 10 to the power minus 3 percent. So this is going to be the answer for the first question that says express this in percent by mass. Now, the second part of the question clearly says to find out molarity. So we are going to write down the formula for molarity. Molality. So molality is equal to number of moles of solute divided by mass of solvent mass of solvent in kg so this is going to be the formula for molality so now we don't know what is the number of moles we have to calculate that so number of moles equals given mass by molar mass given mass is there in the question itself 15 molar mass is what you have to calculate so molar mass of CHCl3 is one carbon atom into its atomic mass plus one hydrogen atom into its atomic mass plus three chlorine atoms into its atomic mass. Now when we simplify this, you will get 119.5 grams. Now, we know what is the molar mass. It is easy for us to calculate number of moles. So here, number of moles equals 15 which is the given mass given in the question divided by 119.5. When we calculate this, you will get 0 
moles. So now we have calculated moles. We will have to find out what is the total mass of the solution. So total mass of solution equals mass of solvent plus mass of solute. Now in this mass of solution we know total mass of solution 10 to the power 6. Mass of solute is also known. We don't know what is the mass of solvent because we need that mass of solvent in the formula of molality. So here mass of solvent is equal to mass of solution which is 10 to the power 6. So I am just giving it as separate zeros here. Minus 15. So this will be equal to 999. 9085 grams. Now this can be approximately taken as 10 to the power 6 grams itself. So here 10 to the power 6 gram 10 to the power 6 grams is equal to 1000 kilogram. So now in this we know what is the mass of solvent. We know what is the, the total number of moles. It is easy for us to substitute these two values in the molality formula and find out the molality. So now molality is equal to 0 0.125 moles divided by Total mass of solvent in kilogram is 1000 kg. When we solve this, you will get 0 0.000125 mole per kilogram. Because when kilogram goes to the numerator, it will become per kilogram. 10 to the power, uh, to the power minus 1. Now when we shift the decimals here to the right, you will get 1.25. 10 to the power minus 4 mole per kilogram. This is how we are going to solve the second part of the question to calculate molality.